Ah, I think it's working. Yeah, good, good. How are you? I'm good, you? Good, what are we doing? Uh, we're looking at that. Oh, that thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're also looking at those. <clears throat> well, you better tell me the story of this thing. Um, well, I think at, at some point we all sort of got the, got the uh, hunger to, uh, to get one of these. And um, I think, I think the first real introduction to them was that East Coast Scale Challenge got, got the hunger on and, and uh, uh, Nick from Orlando Hobbies uh, was a big advocate to this and so uh, we all decided to buy one and this is it. Wow. Yeah. Of course, we took this to um, uh, US, not US, yeah, USTE uh, 2020. Yeah. And um, had a great time there with these these rigs. And way too much fun. Way too much fun. So this is uh, this is something that uh, we're certainly enjoying and, and fits with uh, tiny trucking. So I'm having lots of fun with these. <clears throat> so bring me through some of the details here. So like for instance, uh, do you get the cab and the trailer all in the same package or? No, uh, so to be specific, it's a grand hauler up front, um, which uh, is is a variant of the King hauler. So these are Tamiya brands and it's a variant of the King hauler. And uh, the beautiful rig, uh, some of the highlights uh, are the, the fenders are really nice and the stack is a little different, just a little bit different. So that was the one that I chose to to use, and then the trailer uh, is is another uh, addition, and um, it's uh, I think just a flatbed trailer, and then uh, I sort of uh, accessorized it with uh, making some boxes, some some uh, shipping boxes, and, and the crates and so on and so forth, and painted it myself, um, and managed to get some MCI decals that ah. were color matched. Right. Um, one of the real joys uh, in this particular uh, setup is, of course, there's a there's a GCM contingency to this, right? Of course there is. We've got a scale drive line that, that uh, that's in this, and what this allowed me to do was uh, put a, a engine in it, and that's oh, what cool. we're all about. We're all about drive line solutions, and uh, this is what we did here. So, a little bit of a trick. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. So then you have... Uh, oh, dude. Yeah. So I have a... Um, I think this is... I don't know what motor it is. It's a Caterpillar motor, I think, that was 3D printed by True North uh, Chad up... Yeah. up, uh, up uh, where is he? He's uh, south. Eh? Southern Ontario. Southern Ontario, yeah. True North RC. Yeah. So that I got that printed, and that fits over uh, our... Um, our transmission that we have. This is our, so uh, awesome. drive line. Yeah. So then of course, you know, to put it in a, like a static display, I would put these back on. Line that back up. Well, that's really cool yeah. right there. Oh, I put that one on upside down so that doesn't work. Let me put that over there. Wow. Yeah. Very cool, man. I mean, I it's not perfect, but I haven't seen too many semis with an engine bay, though. <laughs> There's a bunch of semis around, but not with engine bays. Yeah, so that was that was a fun uh, little project with this one in particular, <clears throat> and I'm happy with it. It turned out well. It's and, gorgeous. And the driveline system really works well. Great throttle control, uh, really good low ends, uh, you know, sort of torque. Uh, I couldn't be happier. And um, wow. yeah, it's turned out to be a really nice piece and a lot of fun to drive. So why did you end up with the yellow and blue? What was that about? <laughs> well, I originally wanted to paint it uh, red, white, and black, but there are so many <laughs> red, white, and black rigs yeah. out there. Yeah, that's true. Um, that I wanted to sort of, I guess, be different. And the inspiration from that was, believe it or not, they were on my high school colors. Oh yeah? Yeah. Um, oh, cool. So that was our, our high school colors. And I thought, you know what? That might work. Yeah. Um, and uh, and that's what I came up with and I think I think it worked I really do oh it's beautiful thank you thank you yeah I forgot how big they are with the trailer yeah you yeah know, and this like, is a small trailer too yeah I thought the logging truck was big but like yours is like a foot longer than mine or more with the trailer on it and that's the same functionality really right because yeah. you can put yeah. your stuff on the back and yeah. like oh my goodness it's so great and it's, it's all lit up which which was uh, 
an amazing amount of wiring to do. Right. I'm sure you can you can feel that pain when you wired uh, yours up. How many lights are in that? Same. I think it was like 30 or something. <laughs> That's crazy. It was ridiculous. That's crazy. Yeah. And so what do you have? Tell me just a little bit about what, what, uh, what that is. <clears throat> That's a Tamiya kit as well. Is it, eh? Yeah. So they have a logging truck and I wanted to go for something that was uh, that didn't have a trailer. Like I have a I have a hitch at the back right. that I can use to put a pup or something on. But um, I wanted to have uh, kind of like something different that was maybe uh, non-traditional. Okay. And that was the only truck that I think to me I had at the time that was kind of non-traditional. It's a nice piece. So I went for that. They have a new one now, which is the which is a wrecker. I saw that. One. It's Isn't a Volvo nice? in the front, yeah. and then it has a wrecker. Yeah. And uh, I was like, That's okay. Beautiful. That well, was you might a year be able too late. To buy that half of the kit, you know. It's so different. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, okay. they've got a drive axle in the middle, and it's all different stuff. So, but you know, the to me, a kit was really fun to put together. I enjoyed that a lot. Of course, it's a, it's to me, right? So you can't go wrong there and of course you've put that uh, drive line in that one too right yeah, yeah. actually yeah, you can tip that over and have a look at yeah, it let's do that. it's the same one that you put in all the other crawlers so right you know the nice thing about this truck is it's it literally has handles on it so we that's our gcm scale drivetrain you know wow. and it just bolts right into the tamiya transmissions or uh frames sorry and that's it now you painted the the axle yourself right like that's all yeah i painted the frame the axles everything like every single part on this is painted except for the satin chrome wow so same that was th something i did too yeah I so i was just gonna say yeah, it's the yeah, same thing like yeah. your your frame is body color or part of the body color yeah you know and then you've got all the trailer details that match and yeah, a few just... little details here I, again i'm i'm not a trucker and i'm sure that the finer details aren't there but you know it's it's close uh i yeah. forget what they call these uh yeah that's the air hoses for yeah. the trailer right? yeah so that was i just sort of mimicked it as best as i could yeah um yeah it's so beautiful we're, we're, man and and they drive great like and you know backing up and trying to oh it's fun you know dock it sort yeah, of thing yeah yeah is, yeah yeah is yeah. difficult and fun all at the same yeah. time so well, let's drive around, and uh, while we're at it, we can curse Nick Barber for making us do this. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs> Enjoy. Look, we're not professionals, okay? <laughs> that was such a good setup, too. I can't believe it fell out. Part two. Cool. 